Welcome to Electron Online. Here our next example is a quite complicated example. We have three rational expressions multiplied together. Since they're multiplied together, we don't have to worry about the common denominator. We only have to worry about a, a common denominator if we have additions and subtractions there. Since they're multiplications, we don't have to worry at all. But we do have to simplify first the numerators and the denominators, the ones we can factor. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we can see that we have the hmm, sum of cubes, so let's factor this one first. So this is equal to x times, we have x plus 2 times the first term squared, x squared, times the product of the two terms, that would be plus 2x, plus the last term squared, which would be 4, because remember that x cubed plus 8 is the same as x cubed plus 2 cubed. Oh, this is a cube here. So you can see it's the sum of two cubes, that, oh, and this becomes a minus sign. Otherwise, it doesn't work out. So you can see that when you multiply these together again, you'll end up with this denominator right here. Next, we have to simplify the numerator, or at least factor the numerator. This can be written as x plus 2 times x plus 2, divided by 4x cubed. And finally, here we can see the denominator can also be factored. This is 3x divided by, that becomes x plus 2 times x plus 1. If you're not sure if you factored it correctly, all you have to do is multiply it together again to see if you get your original denominator or numerator back. If you multiply these two together, you'll end up with this again. If you multiply these two together, you'll end up with this again. And if you multiply these together, you'll end up with this again. Just try it and see if it works out. Now we look for things we can simplify. Notice we have an x plus 2 in the numerator here, and we have 1 in the denominator. Since it's multiplied here, we can go ahead and factor these out, cancel these out, so this becomes 1 and 1. Here we have an x plus 2 and an x plus 2. Again, those cancel out. And let's see if there's anything else. Mm, well, we have an x here and an x cubed here, so this can cancel out. This becomes 4x squared. And then we have another x over here and an x squared here, so this cancels out and this becomes x to the first power. Now we have to multiply everything together, see what we have left. So this is equal to 1 times 1 times, we still have the 3 over here, so we have a 3 in the numerator divided by, now we have uh, this in the denominator, we have this and we have that, so we can write the 4x times the x plus 1 times this quantity right here, this trinomial x squared minus 2x plus 4. And that's the simplest form we can write this, so that is the simplified form of our original expression. And that's how it's done.